I worked the cones, actually, on that. <laughs> Unbeknownst to everybody, I was actually the guy out there. I was in overalls and a hat, so I wasn't, a, but I actually was the guy working the cones out there. What, you what, really are not serious what, 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 with that what, what, question. Yeah. Hey, doing Jersey, coming to you from my kitchen table today. You may have read here on NJ.com or elsewhere about how an ingenious top appointee at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey developed an exciting, revolutionary way to conduct traffic studies. Hold on, this gets interesting. David Wildstein, second highest ranking New Jersey appointee at the agency, wanted to see what would happen if the three lanes and toll booths set aside for local traffic coming onto the George Washington Bridge were reduced to one lane with the other two lanes being given over to the main lines that come in off Route 95 and the interstates. Now you talk to any traffic engineer basically and they'll tell you that the way to do this kind of study is to take the traffic statistics for all the lanes, put them in a computer, and run models that will very accurately predict and show you what would happen. Wildstein who was appointed to be Governor Chris Christie's eyes and ears at the agency, had a better idea. Just close the lanes and see what happens. I've never <laughs> participated in a process like that before. Uh, frankly, people's lives were put in, uh, put in risk by this operation. Mr. Wildstein is an engineer? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. The traffic planner? Not to my knowledge. My exact words is this will not end well. Now another key part of Wildstein's study apparently was that it had to be a secret. I was told to not discuss this with anyone. Even the public? I didn't hear about it until a couple days into it. Now Democrats in Trenton are not buying this. They don't think this was a legitimate traffic study at all partly because the head of the Port Authority says that uh, there was no traffic study. Why do you think they did it? Uh, I'm not aware of any traffic study. I don't know why it was done. Now, we all know how Democratic lawmakers have always been so vigilant in guarding against any political patronage or shenanigans at the Port Authority. <clears throat> Got to clear my throat. And they think that Wildstein may have done this to create traffic havoc in Port Lee as a way of getting back at the town's mayor for not endorsing Governor Chris Christie in November's election. What's amazing here so far is that nobody has gone and asked Wildstein himself. I mean, when my kid broke an ornament off the Christmas tree behind me this morning, I didn't ask my sister and my wife and the cat what happened. Only in government, and especially a bureaucracy like the Port Authority, does that kind of thing happen. Uh, or maybe it's just that no one wants to know. Have you talked to Mr. Wildstein? I have not. Okay, so would it be fair to say that you don't know for a fact that it was Mr. <laughs> Wildstein by himself? I know for a fact that, uh, again, based on the testimony today, but my prior conversations with Cedric Fulton and Bob Durando, uh, that uh, those uh, discussions and actions were directed by Wildstein. But what nobody in this room knows is who discussed those actions with Wildstein. Uh, certainly, Chairman, I don't. And now, the Wall Street Journal reports that Christie personally called New York Governor Mario Cuomo, telling him the Port Authority is pushing too hard to get to the bottom of all this. Um, it just shows you they really have nothing to do if they're obsessed with this.